Welcome to Main Street. I'm Mike Edgecombe, your host. And joining me on Main Street, we have Kathy Adams from Main Site. Kathy, hello. And Gail Ann Saucier from Alltech. Hi. And you're both involved with what they call assistive technologies. But first, let's, what is the SITE program, C-I-T-E? Uh, the Main Site program is the state of Maine's assistive technology program. And uh, it was created in uh, the late 1980s. And created by the federal government. So every state in the country does have an assistive technology program. In Maine, it's called the Maine Site. But um, there are AT, assistive technology programs, across the country. And we are here located um, in Augusta. And our job is to be the statewide information source for assistive technology. And we work with uh, multiple organizations across the state, such as Galen from Alltech. Mm -hmm. But our whole focus is on promoting information around assistive technology and access to assistive technology to Maine citizens. Sure. And when we talk about assistive technology, you brought some examples. And, you know, explain that term, please. Assistive technology is any device or any piece of equipment. Um, I happen to be an occupational therapist, and when I entered the disability field, a lot of equipment was customized, and it was created for the person who has a disability. Nowadays, most of the, I think everything on this table is commercially available, mm -hmm. and it's all purchased um, and in much, uh, being sold in much more volumes to people across the country. So it's commercially available equipment nowadays, and it's any device or equipment that will impact or improve the functional ability for a person with a disability or improve their safety or improve their independence. So um, I think that's the essential definition of AT, Galen. Yep. And Galen, you're with Alltech. What, what is Alltech? Well, Alltech is a, uh, the, the Alltech the part of Alltech that I'm with is up in Bangor. It's called the AT Reuse and Recycling, basically, is what we are. Um, we take in donations of the, some of the equipment that you see here. In fact, all of the equipment that you might see here. Uh, wheelchairs, both power and manual. Uh, walkers of every kind. Crutches, canes, uh, even electronic devices. And we clean them, sanitize them, repair them, and then we resell, usually for about well, it's averaging about 20% of normal manufacturer suggested retail price. Mm -hmm. And none of that is cast in stone. Everybody that comes in has different needs, and we will negotiate with some. We will, in fact, we've given some stuff away on occasion where there was a need. Right. And you're located right in Bangor? We're in Bangor at the airport mall, right next to Radio Shack, so we're easy to find. Mm -hmm. And as well as procuring donations you know, and selling them at a big discount, you provide other services? Uh, well, I, I use it and yeah. Uh, out of the Bangor office, we have lo what we call loan demo program, which is what Kathy has brought with her. Uh, these items here, we have some of them. We don't have all of them, but uh, they're available to borrow for two weeks, three weeks at a time, to try it. And the, the phrase is try it before you buy it. Mm -hmm. And that way, you know it's going to work for you. And if it doesn't, you haven't shelled out the money, and now we're stuck with it. Sure. So. And, you know, some of the examples you brought in is uh, you have the keyboard with large keys and large letters for visual impaired, yes. I'm assuming. Yes. Uh, remote switches to turn appliances, lights off and on so mm -hmm. people don't have to get up and actually turn the switches off. Uh, pill boxes with large letters and reminders for each day of the week. Mm -hmm. And s some are not quite so obvious. This one is not quite so obvious to me. That is called a handy bar. It's a terrific device. and. I brought a snapshot, an enlarged snapshot, um, to show it's used, it fits into the D-ring, the universal D-ring of the door frame of every vehicle. And by putting this in the D-ring of the vehicle, right where I've circled on this picture, mm -hmm. um, it becomes a grab bar for that person to get in and out of the car. And the first time I encountered this, my mom was 85 and she had had a total hip replacement. And this enabled her to get in and out of her um, car. She's still using it at 93 every time she gets in and out of the car. Sure. So it's a great device. It's called a handy bar. And now with modern you know, electronics and computers and all that, some of the uh, adaptive devices have gone really high tech. And you brought us an example as well. I brought an example on the iPad device of an app, an application, that costs $1.99, and it is a speaking 
app, and I pre-programmed it. I used this recently with some uh, people in the area that had um, communication impairments, and they really liked it, so I'll... Hi, everyone. Thanks so much for watching today. I am speaking with the use of an app on the iPad device. It is speech generating software that is called Speak It. Speak It costs $1.99. It allows me to type on the keypad to create words and sentences. And then the device speaks for me. I think it is pretty cool, don't you? So this is used real time and it will allow a person yes, to actually exactly. communicate with another person. Exactly. The meeting that I was at, there were three gentlemen who had speech communication impairments and they were each using a device with an app and talking with each other. and having a meeting and talking for a couple of hours so and sharing experiences and sharing mm -hmm. information so this is um, somewhat of a high-tech device because it's electronic and it's, it's the device is expensive but the app was only a dollar sure. 99 cents sure. so. I, I noticed you brought a Kindle in which is you know, a fairly inexpensive I, device I brought, and that's I brought for the, the large letters yes I brought the Kindle and I hope I hope it'll show I did um, okay uh, yep. yes the Kindle is great for right. electronic digital books, and it just you can enlarge the print and you can modify the prints for for readability. Again, the visual accommodating visual, just like the keyboard would assist right. with. Yeah. We got about probably 45 seconds left. What, what's the best way to contact you folks or get more information about your programs? Uh, All Tech in Bangor. You can contact at 947-9180 or come and see us at the airport mall, uh, 10 to 5, five days a week. Uh, the Portland number is uh, 321-6080 and ask for extension 3314, wh wh which is uh, Lisa Penny. Okay. Main site is in Augusta at 621-3195 and we're also at mainsitecite.org and our website is very, very informative and very robust and connects people up with all tech and some of our other partners across the state. Okay, great. And also, you know, we'll use this uh, to remind people to take a look at the attics and the basements and the garages and that. If they haven't uh, devices they don't use any longer, you certainly be, would be interested. We'll, we'll take their dust also. We don't mind that. <laughs> great. Thank you both for coming in today. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Stay with us. Main Street, we'll be back.